So this is a quick video on artery wall thickness and CIMT. The CIMT test is way underused and stress tests are way overused. First of all, what is a CIMT? It stands for carotid intima media thickness test. That's a little bit technical. Let's not worry about that for now. Let's just understand that we want to test for the artery wall thickness not so much the flow in the arteries. Uh, news anchor Tim Russert had a, perfect, a perfectly good stress test in April of 2008. He thought he was okay. He had a heart attack and died in June of 2008. Now, <clears throat> one of the things that they had a lot of concern about was this. In the autopsy, they saw a lot of pebbling and thickness in his artery wall. What happened and what we know today happens with a heart attack is not that the plaque covers the, uh, the flow of the artery. In fact, the vast majority of heart attacks and strokes occur in arteries that were open and had really good flow. So what happens? Here's what happens. The plaque gets into the artery wall and then if it gets inflamed and soft it can float back through the, the in, into the inside of the artery where it touches the blood. When soft or inflamed plaque touches the blood it causes a clot. The clot then flows down and if it's a big enough clot and it hits the heart that's a heart attack. If it's a big enough clot and it hits the brain, that's a stroke.